So we open with the guys at a furniture store and there's apparently deer bones as Decoray Ray. So Kane thinks that Kevin is stupid because you've been able to manipulate him into having sex with you for the past two years. Okay, so now we got the non-traditional couple, AKA non-married and pregnant. And Kane wants for his friend to be married. So he's like, you need to go on and propose. But Kane, where's your man? Oh, your woman. Meanwhile, at Anna's estate, Anna has trust issues because she had an assistant steal over four or five million dollars worth of jewelry. Cha! I, pff, wow. So now she hanging out with Kim and they trying to play the piano. Oh Lord, so now Cherie asking her man if he gonna propose while she pregnant with their second baby. Go on and get married. You ain't going nowhere. So she feels like, look, I don't want to take the lead and propose like Chrissy and beg you to marry me. But at the same time, it's time to get murdered. I'm having your second child. Your second child. It's time for our first marriage. Oh God, now we got the heifer and her broke actor boyfriend. I'm sick of them already. Okay, he taking her to one of those mobile homes on the beach in Malibu. Are they talking about all the storms that they've weathered? I mean, y'all ain't been together for 20 years, so there shouldn't have been that much bad weather. And she's like, let me reintroduce you to Anna so she can see what I see. The only way she's gonna see what you see is if she gets to see him naked. Cause the naked apparently is what's keeping you in this bad relationship. Child, Cherie in labor and this fool worrying about does his shoes match? Girl, she is full like legs to the moon giving birth on this show. And in a full face of makeup. I've never seen a woman have look so relaxed having a baby. Maybe it's the epidural. She's like, I'm pushing and I'm like, you, this doesn't look like a birth to me. Child, the doctor said, it's okay to get inelegant. You're giving birth. I'm gonna need you to push. She's done this before. She knows what she's doing. That baby will work its way out. Oh Lord, oh we getting fresh, fresh out the, fresh out the, ooh, fresh out the oven, baby. Fresh out the oven, ooh, look, I don't need to see all that. You can clean it up. You can clean that baby up before you show it to me. I don't need to see your placenta. I don't need to see the, all that, I don't, mm -mm, mm -mm, wipe that baby off. But I'm glad you had a happy, healthy baby. But wipe that baby off before you show it to me. Okay, girl, uh, Cherie, I want to know why you have on this pearl crown. It's, it's a little, like, 1990 sci-fi movie, like, Mom and Dad Saved the World. But, uh, Javon? Javon, that's your son's name? Javon, J-E-V-O-N. Javon. Mm-hmm. So Sissy Kane is throwing a party at Hermosa. Okay, now Kevin trying to impress the heifer that's with the broke actor, showing off the Dior that Anna bought him. How you gonna show off clothes another woman bought you? I guess that's what happens when you're desperate for attention. And money. And money. The heifer said, I, I don't like the shirt, even though you didn't pay for it. Child, Anna wants the placenta to use it as a facial. They call the girl who just had a baby and sing, happy baby to you. That's sweet. So Anna's like, oh, Andrew and Kelly are here together. Just great. So Anna gets her and Christine and they go to talk about her relationship with Andrew. And she's like, we're in therapy. We've got a lot of work before we take the next step. And they're like, girl, if you don't get away from this fool. Oh God. And then Andrew sees it and he's like, oh, you're talking about me. Well, nobody else is talking about you. I mean, you were the Red Power Ranger. You need to be grateful. Oh, he mad, she telling his business. He gonna say, why does the world have to know this? Because you did it in front of everyone. Duh. All right, now we're having a spa day at Anna's house. Ooh, the mouth massage does look good. I know I have a lot of stress in my jaws because I never shut up, never. Oh God, the DJ heifer thinks Anna's house is haunted. Girl, you gonna get yourself on the uninvite list real quick. Anna don't play that. Did you see Kevin massaging Anna? Mm-hmm, old pass around penis. 
there's just something about Kevin. He just gives me easy. So this is basically an excuse to go through the heifer's house. And I don't know who this other sissy is with the good butt, but um, he wants to know what she's got in her shower. What shampoo? I don't know. I wouldn't care. Hair never looked that good. Okay, is that a penis pump in her shower? I don't know. It looks like one. I've seen them before. It does look like one. I never wanted to try that. It looked painful to me. Meanwhile, downstairs, everybody hears them screaming, penis! A penis! Oh my God. Then he grabs a paper towel and goes into her shower and picks it up. Why? Why? You don't know. Well, you know where it's been. Oh, Lord, the DJ idiot says, oh, throw it outside. That's disgusting. It's clearly her product in her shower. You don't know if it's a penis pump or something for the... I mean, it really did look like a penis pump to me, but I don't know what she's doing with it. Oh, my God. This sissy threw the penis pump out of the window next to the massage table outside. Oh, my God. See, now I understand why Anna has trust issues. Oh, Jesus. So now everybody downstairs is talking about the penis pump. And Kevin says, that's a penis pump. Kevin, you know about him. Kevin, what's your OnlyFans? Anna said, this isn't a screw you situation. This is a fuck you situation. <laughs> I'm with her. How dare you go through my house? And if I, like, I, what is in my bathroom is in my bathroom. If you see it, you see it. But then to not only bring it back to the group, but throw it out outside? Something that's in the shower is now outside? No respect. <laughs> ah! So Anna said, how did you find the sex toy? And then his name is Guy, apparently. So Guy says, well, I have the same penis pump at home. I know that was a penis pump. Then why did you pick it up and throw it out the window? You know how much that shit costs. Those toys are pricey. Well, unless you're getting, you know, that bedroom candy, then they're just overpriced. Child end up short-circuiting your clitoris. She trying to throw Guy under the bus, but you was the one walking through trying to bless stuff. Oh, Anna said, Kim doesn't belong in my world, child. And she was asked to leave along with her bad haired sissy. Oh Lord, now we got a photo shoot for one of the babies. Okay, fabulous. I'm happy for you, Cherie, and them odd looking balls on your head. Okay, I will say this. The Heffa's baby looks cute in this photo shoot. Oh, when he was in the Chinese traditional red. Oh my God, that was so cute. <laughs> oh God, now she whining to um, the jewelry heifer about she ain't gotten engaged yet. Okay, girl. Okay, we get it. Now, um, jewelry heifer, I would say your parents may look at you like some type of slut if you were pregnant and, and unmarried, but I think it's more because you look like one of them Asian Brazzers girls. Like, that's the tea you give. If that's what your husband like, I love it. It's your style, not just your lifestyle. So now we got Kevin charming Kelly's mama so that he can break up that relationship. And they like, mm-hmm. Oh, we know, we, know, we know you work in the culture right now. We know. We know what you're pulling. Get that mama on your side. I mean, really, that's any culture. Once you get the mama on your side, they're going to be like, well, why don't you call Al? Oh, Lord. Okay, guy. Guy, you're not bad looking, but that hair. Oh, Lord, that hair. You're fucking up your face. You need to wear it up and away from the face. You don't have a bad face, and you got body, oddy, oddy. But um, I'm going to need you to stand up more. Put your chest up. You got good chest. You got all this, all this right here. It's going on. I'm going to stand up, put the chest out, and get that hair away from... Oh, Lord. You don't need to look like a damsel in distress, even though you clearly are. Child, he tried to charm that mama, and the mama said, Oh, yeah, he's a nice guy, but she smelled the poverty on him and said, Not for my daughter. Kevin is really out here down with OPP. Messy boots. Again, a gigoloti. Because who does stuff like that? Hoes. And he is a hoe. And not H.O. The DJ have a really messy and stupid too. She gonna say, oh, if I was Jew, I'd beat him up. So you gonna egg on the fight for next season. I see you. And I see why Anna don't fuck with you. Ooh, nobody invited Anna. And Anna ain't there. And now they're like, well, maybe she didn't show up because of the penis pump thing. Kevin's like, I'm just shaking my head. You messing up my clothing connection. This heifer gonna get mad at me. 
So Kevin's like, look, Guy and the DJ Heffa, y'all need to apologize to Anna for throwing her penis pump out the window and going through her house. Ah! <laughs> Kim said, ooh, look at him backing up his sugar mama. I'd back her up too if I had to depend on her for my rent. The DJ gonna say, Anna's not that offended, but you are. Well, Anna ain't even there, so she's clearly offended, and she asked you to get the fuck out of her palace. Ooh! Oh my God, Kim said, why are you so upset? Because it's your penis pumper? It probably was. <laughs> oh my God, they are giving me life. In 30 minutes, in 30 minutes, bravo. Get your shit together. So he said, who raised you, wolves? Oh Lord, so Camden threw a drink and now everybody's like, my couture, my couture, this is $100,000, my couture. I feel the same way about my coats, child. Mm-mm, mm-mm, we ain't doing that. So the group splits up, Kevin leaves with his sissy and that's where it ends. I, I am thoroughly impressed and enthralled. Brava, brava. Okay, Netflix, you know, I, I'm messing with Bridgerton. I'm messing with this. I'm, okay, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. So, 